So as you can see, let's just uh, start a new grease pencil. Okay, right. Um, this one is my original uh, joint. Okay. Um, this chain here is uh, FK and this one is IK. All right. Um, so underneath the hood, uh, I've got three chains. And I'm going to give the IK uh, a proper IK setup. The FK will have the FK controls. Okay. And then this, um, we, we'll have, have a switch where we can choose to work in either IK or FK. And when, when we choose, ultimately this middle chain will either be driven uh, by the FK chain or driven by the IK chain. So it's a, it's a simple, uh, almost like a, a constraint. We're not going to use constraints. I used to set it up with constraints, but I found a much better, which is a color blend, uh, using the color blend node, uh, and it's much more elegant. Okay, but that's ultimately what we've got. We've got three chains, and the, the FK and IK are, are ultimately we make the choice of what to drive the, the main chain. Um, so, before we do that, let's uh, um, restore these back to zero. Um, I just moved them out so that you could see what's going on underneath. And um, so, as you can see under the clavicle, I've got the upper arm joint, which is will be uh, driven by either IK or FK, and then I've got the IK. I've got the FK chain and I've got the IK chain, and that's why I've named them accordingly. All right, just to stop confusion, you can quickly hide things. So let's hide the IK and then let's set up some FK controls. And then once we've done the FK controls, we can duplicate the, uh, the whole arm from the clavicle and we will get all the controls for free. Okay, so it saves setting them up again, and all we need to do, to do there uh, then is um, is then create the IKs. All right, so I I prefer very simple um, circle controls. So let's scale that up. Freeze transforms and delete history, and let's call this uh, rig underscore um, upper arm. Upper arm underscore left underscore control. And we'll do it exactly the same way. Use the shape node, or you can run the script, it doesn't really matter. Set the uh, whoop, set uh, the joint, find the curve, hit set, and parent shape. All right, so I always do the first one. And, um, just, I'm always lazy, I don't align it first. I always see how it's aligned. Go to Control Verts, select all, and then just use your J snap to snap it into position. Okay. Once you've got that, and, and I know it's nicely aligned, I can duplicate it. Okay. And uh, it sits it upright quite nicely. So I know it's going to be aligned properly. So let's call this uh, elbow. And let's duplicate it again and call it hand. There we go. Okay. So very easily select the joint. Um, Got extra ones there. Let me just get rid. Um, I then select the elbow control and parent shape node. 
and you can see it's all coming in quite nicely. And then lastly is the hand, hand uh, control, parent shape mode. Okay. Very easy. So that um, not only is parent shape node uh, a much um, easier thing to set up, you've not got all those extra constraints which are potentially show, uh, slowing down the, the rig. Okay. I'm going to do something drastic, or what you think is drastic. Okay. Um, I've set up the FK and it's now ready to set up the IK and then set up the blending. I am going to delete that side. Okay, so uh, from the left clavicle, skeleton, mirror, I want behavior. And if you remember, it is the Y, Z plane. And you can see it on the uh, icons here, Y, Z. So that's the plane. And I'm going to replace left underscore with right underscore and mirror. Okay. And you'll probably find that uh, because it's mirrored behavior, uh, <laughs> this control uh, ends up down there. But the rest are, are pretty much intact. Okay. Um, very easy fix. Control verts. Uh, oh, select all. Okay. Let's. Um, so probably use your orthos for this, and let's get the uh, grid back on. Um, there we go. So let's write on that that line. Um, Let's rotate it and probably just need to move it now again. Probably up a little bit. Ah, actually, rotate it one more. It's no big deal. It's uh, there we go. Uh, There we go. Okay, that was nice and easy. Uh, and because we manipulated the, um, the the control verts, it's not upsetting any uh, anything joint pivots. Okay, and yep. So you've got that mirror. If I select, uh, yep. Uh, and that's why we uh, mirror behavior is that we get that sort of butterfly in a effect. Okay. And that's something that we actually want as part of the rig. Okay. And just to make sure, um, let's just go down. And then we've got, because we mirrored it um, from the clavicle, then we automatically got the um, FK uh, joint chain, um, the IK. So if I just show you FK and IK, there you go. It, it, we've got the three joint chains with the joint, uh, the main joint underneath. All right, we're in a good position, so we're now ready to. Uh, I'm just going to zero these out, and we're now ready uh, to start um, the blending, the actual blending, and um, and then setting up the IK controls.